What's going on guys, Asian guy here bringing you a video covering all the new information that has come out on the Japan server of One Piece Treasure Cruise. As you can see here, there is a crap ton of different islands to run right now. I've not done anything on my main account. I've already investigated a little bit on my second account. So hopefully I can explain this to you as clearly and as quickly as possible. So the very first one is the prize draw island or kind of like a bingo more like. And I will explain this as best as possible. So once you clear this island, I'm sure most people have already done it. Don't worry, you don't need to buggy this or anything. There are no rewards. Just use a Neptune team or whatever. Can't even remember if you get EXP for this. But once you clear this, you will be presented with nine different islands for each of the straw hats. And then you can clear those in any order and you can clear them a maximum of five times in total for all of those together. So you can only pick five different straw hats. And then how this works is, let me open the website. If you click the, the little white speech bubble with gold font inside it or gold writing inside it, it will take you to the website. Of, obviously, most people won't be able to read this, so I'm gonna try my best to explain it. How this works is so. Once you've cleared your islands, as you can see here, you open this, you clear this island, you'll be presented with a bunch of different straw hat islands, and then you can clear those in whatever order you want. But the way you clear it, for example, if I cleared Zoro first, Zoro will go into slot A. Then if I follow it up with Robin, because they're meant to be together, according to my wife, you will have Robin in slot B. And then if you have Frankie, after that, he will go into slot C. And then you have Brooke and then Luffy after that, they will go into slot D and E. And now these, if you are able to match these with what is presented by the RNG, I believe is individual to everyone. Not everyone is going to have the same order that the RNG person has or the whatever the website provides basically. If you are able to match that a certain amount, you will be given rewards based on that. So. For example, if you get a perfect match, you will get the first prize. So for all five are in the correct order, this is random, completely random how it's generated. You can control your own, but you can't control how the randomly generated one is gonna be. Or if you get, you get second prize, if you get four matching, then three, four, and then five, basically, in that order, as you can see there. And depending on that, you can win a crap ton of prizes. So if you're able to get characters A to E identical, you will win up to, well not up to, you will win 1,000 gems, 100 socket books, 5 sets of guaranteed socket tomes, 10 guaranteed skill books, or guaranteed universal skill books, and 1 roast turkey. And then this decreases as you go down, 100 gems, then 50 gems, and then 20 gems, 5 gems, and then... If you fail, I believe everyone is going to get this regardless if you fail or succeed. You get five free rare recruits, gold and above. So that's very, very nice. So five free pulls. So that is the first island. You clear that, do that in whatever order you want to. Honestly, it really isn't going to make a difference. There's no tactics you can put to this. Maybe you can put in some superstitions, whatever you want to do, but that's just how it's gonna be. After that, you have all of these Katakuri pirates, Katakuri pirates, big mum pirates. And then tomorrow, after I've uploaded this video, so the day I'm uploading this is the 28th in the UK anyway. And once you've done this, this will give you five copies each of certain characters, which you can then feed to raise the support level, which is a new function that was added with this most recent patch to the game to increase the support level of those certain characters. So you get them from Chopper Man missions. So there's no point running buggy teams into this. And then tomorrow we will be versus the Straw Hats. And this is all there basically to boost up your teams for the upcoming Blitz battle. The Blitz battle has not started yet. Whether or not your team Katakuri or team Luffy is completely random. But let's see if I can actually open that website again because that website will take you to the link. If you go to the very top and you go to the far right, it will say Luffy versus Katakuri where it says the versus sign. If you tap on that, it will tell you if you are in purple font, you are team Katakuri, I'm team Katakuri. And then if you're in red font, you are team Luffy. The rewards for this, uh, I don't like how they've done this because I can't personally impact if I will win the free legend. So in round one, round one is gonna take place from the very first day of 2019, 1st of January, all the way up till the 3rd of January. Now how this works is, whoever scores the most points by the end of this round, this team, so if Team Luffy has 51% and Katakuri has 49%, well, 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 unfortunately, Team Luffy is going to be getting a free legend. 
If you come in the top 10,000 of either Katakuri or Team Luffy, you'll gain one free legend as well. And also if you come in the top 5,000, you gain two free legend pools. So that's very, very nice. I think top 10,000 is gonna be easy for most people watching this video. Top 5,000 might be a bit of a push. I'm not sure if they are gonna be boosted units or not. Most likely going to be boosted units. And then there's gonna be a ton more other stuff, different rounds to go throughout this. So there's got even gonna be a treasure map mode round which is a little bit tedious. So, the treasure map round, if I can find it, or oh, these are all the prizes I'd be. So round two, round two will start from, I believe the 9th of January till the 13th of January. Now how this works is based on how many runs of treasure map you do most likely, because you either, depending on what team you are. So for me, I'm team category, I will have donuts on my map. And for the number of donuts I'm able to consume, I will be able to contribute towards my team's tally of consuming all the donuts as possible. So 1,000 kilograms worth of donuts versus 1,000 kilograms of meat. So whoever completes this first is going to get another free legend. Or five gems, actually. No, it will be five gems, no free legend. I take that back. So whichever team is able to clear that hurdle first will get five free gems. Very, very nice. I have a feeling Team Luffy is going to win. I looked on Japanese OPTC Twitter. It seems like a lot of the top players are unfortunately Team Luffy, but I would like to believe Team Katakuri is going to carry me. And I say carry me because I won't have much time to be able to do this event because I will be on holiday skiing. So there's really no chance for me to do this, unfortunately. And then round three will be from the 18th of January to the 20th of January. And it's based on how much damage is done. And then the winning team will get a free legend. Now that's all quite far into the future. So I will elaborate on part two and part three later on in the future. Whereas part one, part one, let's take a quick look. What are the prizes? for part one. So part one is all about clearing these different islands that you have. Once you click Cracker, you'll move on to Brulee and then to Perispero. And then all those units will have those useful supports there. So Nami there will be a useful support. Chopper will be a useful support for that island. Pedro will be a useful support for the Perispero island and so on and so forth, depending on which side you're on. So if you're on Team Luffy, you're of course going to be trying to take out this pathway, you're going to be taking out all of these units here. So you should be clearing the Big Man Pirate Islands that are available today. If you're on Katakuri, then you should be focusing on the Big Man Pirates that are available tomorrow. Having said that, you don't need to do any of the islands that are currently available right now. The event, the Blitz Battle, does not start till the 1st of January. Right now, it's just preparation and a little bit of practice and letting you guys know how it kind of works. And once you've cleared all of that, you will unlock the Master Difficulty final stage, which for me is going to be the gear for Luffy. And of course, if Flambe appears, there's going to be extra rewards as well. So she's probably going to be like a secret stage or something like that. And then you'll be able to see your points on this website. I will leave the link to the website in the description down below as well. And this is, I believe, community rewards. So community rewards, if everyone is able to hit 25 million points in total, 10 free gems for everyone. And then beg your pardon, the rest of the stuff is just free goodies as well. You've got belly there, turtles, and this new item that you can see here is, so the very first one is a small chance of increasing support level, medium chance of increasing support level, high chance of increasing support level, and guaranteed chance of increasing support level. So that's the important stuff there for now. I believe, depending on your rankings, here are the rewards. So if you come in the top 10,000, one free legend pool, 4,000 to 5,000, two free legend pulls, 3,000 to 4,000, you get guaranteed universal skill books and five gems. This increases to two guaranteed skill books and 10 gems, and then three guaranteed skill books, 15 gems, and so on and so forth, as you guys can see there with the numbers. Hopefully that's everything so far. Part two, I believe there is somewhere. Is this part two? No, so part three, based on how much damage everyone is able to deal, in part three, Everyone will most likely, I'm going to say most likely, get a free legend. If 1 billion damage is done by the entire community, the JP community, then everyone will get one free legend pool. So regardless, most people are going to be getting a free legend pool. After 1 million damage, though, everyone gets a silver or higher pool. whoop de doo So there you have it. That's the interesting stuff. I believe there's other stuff as well. So if you are a returning player, if you have not logged in once at all, to this date today since the 28th of September starting from logging in I believe today you will be able to gain 10 gems one free rare recruit four star and above 
10 large limit break potions, 5 million belly and a ton of limit break exp items. Not limit break exp, limit break items and crystals there. Second day, you'll gain another 10 gems, one free rare recruit, four star and above, 50 hidden tomes or 15 socket, 5 zero, 50 socket books and one guaranteed skill book. And then on the third day in a row, you will get 10 gems, one guaranteed legend pool, it can, be, it can be any legend, voice crack there, beg your pardon, and 100 socket tomes and one rose turkey. That is only if you have not signed into the account since the 28th of September. So that's a lot of stuff down there. Hopefully that has made sense. And I'm probably gonna run this stuff. I need to do Sugo Fest Island still. We've got 12 hours left for that and I need to do 16 minutes. Well, that's unfortunate because I missed out on a free gem there. If you clear all of these once, you will get a free gem. So keep that in mind, guys. If you clear all of these once, it doesn't say any free gem right now, but once you've completed two, the final island will have a free gem. Fortunately, unfortunately, I don't have time to do that because I'm going to edit the video now. But it's not a big deal because I will be, well, you know, I'll be buying gems. There is currently a sale right now, which reminds me this is the other thing that I wanted to talk about. Now, I've already bought the first package of the sale, so I can't describe what it is. I do apologize. The second one for 2,000 yen, you'll get 40 gems. An extra bonus 10 gems there because normally 2,000 for 3 for 30 and then you'll get two four star lobsters as well. The 5,000 yen pack is 105 gems. You can buy this a maximum of six times which I'll be doing on the video so people don't accuse me of cheap gems. And then you get, I believe that's just a normal universal skill book and also three gold lobsters which is pretty nice especially if you're a new player. Three gold lobsters is equivalent of 15 million EXP. Actually no, I take that back. That's three... Is it gold? Four star lobsters? Is that gold? I feel like that's gold. So if it's a four star lobster, you know if, if, if it's gold or not because I can't remember. Actually, the 2000 yen pack is also two gold lobsters, so I'm not entirely sure which way around it is. And if you're going to buy the final pack here, the 5400 one, you'll get one gold lobster, one universal skill book, and you get a bonus of five gems to the normal 90. So there you have it. Voice crack. I think this is going to be the end of the video. The rest of this is just me buying gems. As video evidence that it's there. Oh, it says my email account there. I'm going to have to black that out. But there you have it. Touch ID enabled. And then I will just be stocking up on my gems. I always do this now. This is my new way of playing OPTC and content creation. I will only buy gems during these really, really good sales where the prices are not extortionate. I mean, Japan already, I would say the prices are... They're a bit on the steep side, but they're not bad. They're not bad compared to other gacha games. <laughs> Bleach Brave Souls. No shots fired, but it's it's not bad in comparison to that. But on the global side, I don't know why they don't just match the Japanese prices. They really should just match the Japanese prices. Global side of the game, gems are very, 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 very expensive. And they don't even do sales like this that often. So I don't know what to say. Well, they, they do, they do do. I didn't want to say doo doo, but they do do gem pack deals where you get to get like a specific legend or specific units, which is pretty interesting. But I feel like that's more to deal with or to counteract what's happening in the EU, which is where they're trying to restrict and clamp down on loot boxes. Although I'm not 100% certain on that. Don't quote me on that. So we're at 400 gems now. I'm going to buy every single pack out here. You mathematicians can calculate how much that is in yen and tell me that I'm wasting my money and throwing my life away and criticize me in the comment section. But I have my ways. I have my ways, ladies and gentlemen. I have my ways. Being Asian comes in handy, let's put it that way. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that made sense to you. I will be uploading either today or tomorrow a more detailed infographic video talking about the Sugo Fest, the Katakuri versus Luffy G4 spoiler dude thingy me bob sugo fest um i it's really hard for me not to say his name but the luffy vs katakuri sugo fest there's three different parts bear in mind guys i believe on the 4th of january all three parts will be available in the tavern and you just scroll between them and then you can pull from any one of those your counters for your multi pulls do not reset i mean they do reset sorry they do not carry over so in part one if you do two multi pulls and then you go into part two thinking that you're gonna get your third multiple with just one multi. That's not gonna happen. It completely resets down to zero and also the same from part one all the way to the final three parts where they all align together. So you'll just be able to scroll like this 
how I'm doing right now between the three different Sugo Fests. They're all part of the same Sugo Fest. Katakuri is rated up on all of them. Remember, Gear 4 in his 6 plus version in the Superman form. Superman is not the actual name, that's just what I use as a spoiler placeholder. But in the Superman form is guaranteed on the ninth multi pool with max skill, max sockets. If you have been saving up gems, well, this is a very, very good Sugo Fest to pull on because the anniversary Sugo Fest, four year anniversary for Japan, is going to be, I believe it's in either June or July. Okay, by that time, you would have been able to save up like 500 gems, especially if you're a free to play player and you're very good at controlling how many gems you spend. For Sugo Fest, you're going to be having a very good time. Japan gives out basically three gems every single day of the month. It's guaranteed two. Most of the time, there's always one sort of island or two, three different islands that give you a free gem, whether that be a turtle island, uh, Treasure of Buggy Island, the Sanji Lobster Islands, the Sugo Fest Islands, whatever, any kind of random islands that come out that give you a free gem. So essentially, you're getting three gems every single day. You get login bonuses. So every single month, essentially, you're getting around 100 gems. So. By the time it's the, the 5 year anniversary, you should have at least 400, 500 gems. So this Sugo Fest, incoming, TLDR, if you don't have any top tier legends, a fantastic, fantastic Sugo to pull on, 2.5 times legend rate. I have, I believe, bought out all of the discount packs, other than this 2000 yen one, and then once we're done with the 2000 yen one, that's going to be it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, thank you so much. For the lovely wishes on my video, the last video I did was not very good. It was very, very bad, low quality compared to the other videos that I normally do, especially commentary wise. I was stuttering so much because I was trying to translate on the fly. Little did I know Koala-san had already finished most of the translations down below. I mean, I gave you guys the useless captain abilities. Please appreciate the effort. I'm just kidding guys, but thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and bye bye. Remember to hashtag Danka Bandai with a bellissimo. And then you will be blessed for this upcoming Sugo Fest. Look forward to the video I will be doing later today or tomorrow talking about which parts to pull on, which parts will suit your box best. And thank you so much for watching once again. Bye bye.